Auto Chess is a game developed by Drodo Studio, the creators of Dota 2 Auto Chess. Due to its popularity, Auto Chess, a standalone game, was created. This review was recorded on Asus Max Pro M1, an Android device. Graphically, the 3D graphics look detailed and smooth, and it still runs well on my mid-range phone. The battle animations look nice but not that impressive. The board can really get chaotic on later rounds but is fun to watch if you know what your heroes are capable of. In order for you to truly appreciate the game, you must first study each hero's skill, item combinations, which hero is best suited for specific items, and hero synergy. If you don't know anything about auto chess and just head straight to battle, you'll get lost. At least I did. Games are fast paced and you must plan ahead to achieve effective builds. Players of Dota Auto Chess will feel the familiarity of the game. Everything works the same. For new players, here's a simple explanation on how the game works. You queue for a battle that pits you with 7 other players, which makes it 8 people including you in a match. Each round a random opponent is chosen for you. Winning the round damages your opponent's life points. Deplete all of their life points and they are out of the game. Only one player gets to win out of the 8. But if you at least achieve 3rd place, you'll get rewarded with candies which can be used for cosmetics. Here's where it gets complex and familiarity of the game like knowing unit skills, using the right synergy and items, and proper fund management takes place. Each round is divided to a preparation phase and battle phase. You draw random heroes during preparation and get to choose and buy random heroes from the ones you randomly draw. You and your opponents draw these heroes randomly on the same deck or pool. Heroes you buy have a corresponding price. Buying one puts it on your bench, which gives you the option to put them on the board for battle. You also have the option to use your funds to level up your character or courier to increase the unit limit you can place in battle. You can also use your funds to redraw a new random set of heroes if you don't like your choices. Having 3 copies of a hero will level up that hero from tier 1 to tier 2, up to tier 3. When you acquire items in battle in later rounds, you can equip them to your chosen hero. Stronger tier pieces of items can be formed by combining lower tier pieces. When there are a lot of hero pieces on the board for you to combine items with, it can be difficult to manually build a high tier recipe. Thankfully, there's a system built in, which informs you that a higher tier item can be built. Item recipes can be daunting. So if for example, one high tier item requires two pieces of lower tier items, but you only have one, and only later get to randomly get the other set piece, the system tells you which hero to equip that item with to successfully level up the item. When the timer runs out in preparation phase, you now enter the battle phase. In this phase, your heroes and opponents automatically fight each other. Whoever loses gets life point depletion depending on how many heroes the winning player has left. Since there are 8 players, you do have to wait for others in the room to finish battling. You won't have to wait long because even for experienced players, the timer is reasonably fast. But if you really are bored, you have the option on tapping other player names and watch their battle unfold. This can also be a way to see what units or heroes they are using, so you'll have a general idea on what heroes to better use on your draws. Take note that every gaming session can take a long time. It depends. I did have sessions that lasted 30 minutes. Regarding the game's pay to win aspect, I do not see any pay to win elements at all. Regarding the game's pay to win aspect, I do not see any pay to win elements at all. All of the game is playable for free and is balanced for everyone. The only items you get from using real money are cosmetic items. All of the gameplay is accessible from the start and there are no advantages in using real money. This is another factor why the game is so viable for esports. The game focuses on balance and competitiveness. I did hear that esports event organizers are already planning for an auto chess competition. We'll see. 
Auto Chess is not yet fully released, but it already feels complete. Queuing for matches are extremely fast, which proves how popular this game is. All of the gameplay is unlocked from the start and there are no paywalls. It will not appeal to everyone, but if you're a strategy game enthusiast, I do think you'll appreciate this game at least, if you can't love it. Auto Chess is a new type of game born from a mod, much like Dota 2 was born from another mod. Auto Chess is unique, innovative, balanced, and truly free to play. I really like the game so far. When the full release comes out, I'll do my best to make a comparison to its unreleased state and what are the changes. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope I have shed some light in some way about this game.